torture, based on the findings of the tribunal above and in relation to torture in the context of crimes against humanity, the tribunal is of the view that it is beyond reasonable doubt that acts, uh, that acts of torture have occurred. In the context of the Convention Against Torture, the tribunal is certain of two things. First, that they were acts by which severe pain or suffering, whether physical or mental, was intentionally inflicted on the person punishing her or him for an act he or she has committed or is suspected of committing, or for any reason based on discrimination of any kind, when such pain or suffering is inflicted by or at the instigation of or with the consent or acquiescence of um, a public official or other persons acting in an official capacity. And secondly, the exception for torture in respect of pain and suffering arising only from inherent in or incidental to lawful sanction doesn't arise. It's clear that the type of treatment experienced and described by witnesses who appeared before the tribunal were in no way justified by that exception. In relation to two other groups, Tibetan Buddhists and people called House Christians in the PRC, the tribunal is unable to come to any finding as there was insufficient evidence presented to satisfy the elements of the possible crimes under consideration. <clears throat>